this is just kind of summarizing what I just said, right? Um, questions? Did that make sense? Make better sense than last time when I shoved it into like two minutes? No? No questions? Can we answer these questions then? Why does figurative language precede literal language according to Rousseau? Yes? Can you, can, can, excuse me, can you start with your name? Oh, my name is Mariana. Mariana, okay. Thank you. Yes. So, so the, the reason the figurative use comes first is because the figurative use is connected with passion, right? Passion kind of gets you moving in a sense, right? And because, you know, what's important for him is that kind of leap. The, the figure is, is a kind of, it's, it, he calls it a transposition. Uh, you, you kind of go from one thing to another thing, right? And so he feel, I think he feels like you need an impetus for that, some kind of emotional response. So, so the, the connection of feeling to language is what, is what creates that connection to, to figuration. Yeah? So would you say that Rousseau thinks that literal language is kind of like a separation from the emotional side of thought? Yes, yes, I think definitely think so. I mean, he, 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 he talks about that. In fact, that's his example of the, the giant and the man. Once you've calmed down and sort of taken, you, you can take a look at things sort of soberly, then you, you come up with the, with the correct definition. Right? Okay. So how does Rousseau's theory of the origin of language compare with those of Hobbes and Warburton? Can you just summarize that again for us? Anybody? Yes? And, and your name? Lauren. Lauren. Okay. So Rousseau's theory is a mixture of Hobbes and Warburton because um, Warburton is more of the figurative side and then Hobbes is the literal side and then Rousseau combines both of them to make his own theory. Okay, great. That's, that's very good, right? So. Um, Warburton has the figurative side. He talks about language as figures. Hobbes talks about literal language and correct definitions. And Rousseau's using both. He's taking the figurative part as the origin and then the, the literal part as the, the sort of continuing development of language. Right. Great. 